Hello and welcome to another update video about Engine Coin. I felt it was time for an update because we hit my, my price target from yesterday. If you remember from my video yesterday that I made, um, I showed you this potential opportunity here. I said that we were getting into the apex of a triangle. We were struggling to push higher here and really moving against a um, support a resistance level there. On a different time frame, that looks different. This is the four hour here on the four hour. It was an ascending wedge. I did say, you know, be a bit careful because an ascending wedge can also break to the downside. But um, that is why, you know, as, as long as we are above this ascending trend line here, it's all good. And um, it is a potential trading opportunity that could take us to the next Fibonacci extension level that I had on the charts. And I mentioned the 350 level. Now look at where on the four hour chart that green candle here closed that was at 351. So really happy that that played out that closely. And um, what is actually happening is that um, we are now retracing a little bit. Now we were not overbought, at least not on the four hour, also not on the one hour chart. My explanation is for why we, are, um, why we are retracing here at the moment is because we hit that next Fibonacci extension level. Now, if we take a look at the smaller, uh, on the smaller scale Fib levels, and we can take a look at that and get an understanding that we have now retraced back down to the 0.382 FIB level at 334. That is where we now found support. Now, it wouldn't be a problem to actually drop down a little bit more to 325 maybe. Um, that would be the 0.5 FIB level or even the golden pocket at 316. And that would even be where we had the previous highs here at around, you know, 313, 313 and whatever that would not be a major issue to drop down to that level so that's currently what we're doing just retracing a little bit here um, and i would expect the prices to go up from there um, we can obviously also go back to that um, trend line but then we would fall back into the pattern don't think that's very likely at the moment because we did um, we made a new high now and also we as you can see when we broke out textbook yeah we actually came all the way even overshot my target level came down retested that trend line as um probably need to move that a little bit higher depending on you know because we we're cutting through that body retested that support level and um then we got up again made it made it up again then we retraced a little bit again you know and from here at some point then we can go up again i think um might be time for a turn around here that's my view and as long as we stay above that trend line that might be something for you guys to watch because i can't tell you when to sell or not but if you're in there for a trade um it might be an opportunity to set a stop loss below that trend line maybe below that previous low whatever but i'm just holding engine coin it's a very volatile crypto i don't want to be thrown out which is why i don't set a stop loss in this case i'm holding this long term um i've heard it um many people say that this could be the bitcoin of the yeah, nft or play to earn space and um, I agree, Engine Coin is is highly highly interesting, highly interesting crypto. But you know, we could now move on to the next um, FIB level at four dollars. Um, really interesting. You know, we are above all the main moving averages here on Engine Coin, and um, on the four hour, we have now retraced. You know, we are not overbought anymore. Um, and on the MACD, we even had a buy signal. A few, um, you know, yeah, I think that was yesterday. Yeah, and um, again. Made you aware of that yesterday in the video as well and on the daily it looks like we're not losing steam at the moment we are carrying on even though we need to acknowledge that the macd line is now very high yeah and um, here on the daily as well you know we are nearly overboard sort of overboard so um at some point there might be another retracement coming at the moment it can hold it you know we have even come up to 84 up here then we had a retracement. You can see that that was actually on the 30th of October. So when we came into that way, into that much uh, of an overboard area, we retraced all the way back to that ascending trend line, which is why I think that ascending trend line is so important. So watch that. And also, since then, we have a lot of volatility. We have a lot of volatility. So watch these um, huge candles. You could even argue that we are potentially in a channel but it, it looks for me more like an ascending larger ascending wedge so it is time to be a bit careful we have a lot of volume but also you know we're getting into the overboard range and an ascending wedge could be um could mean that we are going to retrace soon um especially considering that we have a little bit of an um, a bearish 
divergence on the daily. But at the moment, I think we have the potential to move higher you know, to levels of four dollars or whatever, um, especially as we are currently in the alt season or getting into the alt season. So the, I, and I'm going to hold engine coin, even if we drop below that trend line, I'm probably going to hold it. Um, I'm not going to mess around here with them um, flipping it or whatever. I, I'm just going to hold it and um, it has a lot of potential for the future. Okay, hopefully you liked that video about engine coin. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe. Bye bye.